Hello there everybody, what is up? This is Connor. Welcome to Sniperly V2 Remastered. Um, I've wanted to play the Sniper Elite series on the channel for a while, but uh, I haven't really gotten around to doing that or really finishing the other games, but I'm slowly getting to it, but um, anyway, I thought I'd start off with V2 since the remastered was announced and I thought I might as well wait a bit longer, but either way, let's jump into it on the Sniper Elite difficulty. Hitler's war machine, once unstoppable, was now on the retreat. The Allies in the West and Russia in the East were squeezing the tattered remnants of the Reich in a vice-like grip. Germany's last hope lay in their wonder weapons. The V-2 rocket, a huge leap forward in the history of military technology. It was a weapon system to herald a new form of warfare. Inhuman. Faster than the speed of sound, it struck without warning. The Nazis launched over 3,000 rockets in a desperate attempt to reverse history. It was a terror weapon, pummeling Antwerp, Paris, and London. After the D-Day landings, their launch sites were overrun and pushed back out of range of England. But already, the Allies were looking to the future, to the next war. The Americans were gathering up the best of Germany's rocket scientists in the top secret operation Overcast. Many of the architects of the V2 program had already been acquired, but not all. With Berlin encircled, Germany's last ditch defense falling back block by block and total defeat only days away, those scientists remaining in the city would soon be in Russian hands. My job was to make sure that didn't happen. Oh yeah, boys. Let's do this. Major General Hans von Eisenberg was negotiating in secret for safe passage for his team. Five of the V2 program's top men. He was meeting his Russian handler at the Brandenburg Gate. This was my chance to take him out before he could seal the deal. I was prepared, focused, confident. Little did I know. It would turn out to be the most difficult mission I'd ever undertaken. Alrighty. Let's start game. I turned off the tutorial section. You can do that in the options menu. Eisenberg was punctual and made no effort to hide his ugly face. Neither did his Russian contact. I had a clear shot. The slightest pressure on the trigger, and it was good night, Major General. Just a question of choosing my moment. The square was well sheltered, so there was no wind to worry about. I had to aim one notch above the target to compensate for bullet drop. I controlled my breathing to steady my aim, and then shoot. Hell yeah. I like the gun sounds. Wow, right through his mouth, okay. Wow, my aim. Sorry about that. Don't know what happened there. Guess I was aiming too high or too low. <laughs> it's really embarrassing, actually. I'm fine with the other shots, I guess. It was just that one did. Ah, 
tried to run shot him. I think this is the last state in this section. I think my highest on this has been 90-ish. played this game quite a while ago, like years ago, I haven't really played it since. Um, crouch please. I haven't really had a reason to play it, but now that Remastered came out and I wouldn't mind doing a playthrough of it, I thought why not. Ow. That was a bit of a cluster F, wasn't it? Grenade! Where's this dude shooting me from? See, so I'll go upstairs. I'm just trying to make this a bit of a cluster. Went through his hand. I haven't played Sniper Elite 3 or 4 at all, really. Maybe 20 minutes, half an hour of it. But I haven't really gone bows deep into it. When I finish this, I don't know which game I'd jump into. Three, four, or the first one. section. Nice. I think that's all of them. When Eisenberg was dead, I was committed now. Both the Russians and Germans would know I was in play. Four to go. Four to go. Eighty. I missed quite a few shots on that second dude. Uh, that's alright. I'm gonna end this off here and start the next mission. Thanks for watching guys. Have a wonderful day. Peace out. Take care.